Um, you touched on a name that I want to go back to. Oscar Danilo Blondon, um, a Nicaraguan drug trafficker. How does he fit into this picture? Oscar Danilo Blandon was a highly placed Contra official. He he was basically not, he didn't, he, of course, he was the one that provided the tons of cocaine to Freeway Ricky Ross, as Freeway Ricky Ross will tell, will, will tell us, and probably already told you because I know you interviewed him. He was getting the drugs from Danilo Blandon. Danilo Blandon was just getting the, 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 the drugs from the pilots, CIA pilots, they were bringing it in. They had 13 stashes in the LA area. I know because I was I was involved in raiding some of those stashes in the LA area. Danilo Blendon had a business to sell car dealerships and so on and so forth here in the LA area. He, he like I said, he was a well-to-do Nicaraguan. He was the one that was supplying freeway Ricky Ross. Now, going back to Rodriguez, is my Elphilis Rodriguez. When I found out that Max Gomez which, by the way, I, I'll, I'll, state it, I'll state it again. It took me three years to identify who Max Gomez was that interrogated Kiki, that it was no other than Ismael Felix Rodriguez. Ismael Felix Rodriguez goes way back with, with, the, uh, with, with the CIA. He was involved in Watergate. Ismael Felix Rodriguez was involved in the Bay of Pigs, the Cuban guy. Ismael Felix Rodriguez was involved in capturing and killing um, uh, the Cuban guy. Uh, uh, Who's that? Che? That was killed in South America. Che? Che Guevara. He was involved in killing Che Guevara. As a matter of fact, Ismael Philly Rodriguez was the one that cut Che Guevara's hands off with a hacksaw after he had him shot to death. Because is uh, when 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 they, when they, when, they, when, they, when they had the little battle where they captured Che Guevara. Che Guevara was wounded in the leg and lower stomach, not death wounds, not fatal wounds. They captured him alive. And Ismael Felix Rodriguez, while interrogating him, was, was uh, he, he, uh, from what I heard from one of the people that was there, because I investigated this, that Che Guevara spit in his face and says, you're warm, get out of here. I'm not going to talk to you. So Rodriguez ordered him shot from the neck down. And he told Tehran, who was Sergeant Tehran, shoot him from the neck down so it'll appear that he was killed in battle. He walked out of the room, meaning Rodriguez walked out of the room, Tehran shot him and killed Che Guevara. When he went out and told him, okay, he was dead, so then Rodriguez goes to a helicopter, gets a hacksaw, and walks in and cuts Che Guevara's hands off, which he sent to Washington as proof that Che Guevara had been killed. Okay. Later in life, Felix Rodriguez ends up attending School of the Americas, which is uh, where they train for Vietnam, and it was interrogation and torture. And he becomes one of the leaders in Operation Phoenix in Vietnam, where they were interrogating and, and torturing Viet Cong prisoners. A lot of them died in the torture. They were using a lot of waterboarding. That's where waterboarding became, um, became fashionable. So he goes way back with the CIA. And what does the DFS do in, in, in Mexico when they pick up uh, enemies or basically criminals? They waterboard them. Okay? So, I mean, this, this, this guy goes way back with the CIA and is very, very, was very, very close to old man Bush. As I stated, when Bush became president, he gave him an office at the executive building of the White House, Miriam and Rodriguez. Rodriguez has never been arrested. He's living in Florida and doing well from over here to this day. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all on the next video.